What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. Now in this video I just want to do a response to a video from a YouTuber named Olu TV titled Black Men Who Complain About Race Are Weak. The links to his video and channel will be posted in the description box below so you can take a look at it for yourself. Now to be honest this was a topic that I was actually going to tackle myself but to be fair he beat me to it so I just want to say first off that I 100% agree just off the title alone and even more so when I actually watched the whole entire video. Now, for the longest, I would always hear that men should be solution oriented beings as men are for the most part logical, analytical, resourceful and less emotional as they are built up to be the builders and protectors of society. And when you look throughout history, every civilization, no matter how great or small, has been built off the back of men, if we're going to be honest about it. In the main, I'm not saying women haven't contributed, but in the majority, men are the builders of these civilizations that we see today. Therefore, any problems, men are the ones who are supposed to be there at the forefront to try and resolve whatever issues that they can. Now, it may not be a permanent fix, but I suppose trade-offs or better trade-offs than the current situation that they're in. I'm always reminded of the famous quote from Thomas Sowell that says, there are no solutions, there are only trade-offs. So with that being said, the constant complaining that I hear from black men, and it's not just about race, but race is definitely a huge component of this. It sends off a very troubling siren that screams one thing to all those that hear it, and that is weakness. Now, funny enough, whenever you think about black men in the whole, you see a stereotypical image of a man who's strong physically. But the weakness that I'm talking about is not physical necessarily, but mental. For it's the mentality of black men which seems to be the weakest that I've seen in a very long time. And it goes to explain a lot of the reasons why the black community has the problems that it does, whether we like to agree with it or not. I mean, when I see the numerous men who always seem to lay racism at the hands of everything that goes wrong in their lives and everything that goes wrong, really, in general, I see a group of men who, in the main, are either too scared of adversity or don't know what it takes to succeed. Therefore, the easy way out is to blame someone or something else. Because that's what a lot of this is. It's so easy to blame someone or something else for our own problems. Because guess what? That takes away from our own responsibilities of being leaders. And that is the biggest problem as black men. And I include myself in all of this. Because in truth, we as black men aren't known for being leaders in the main. Now, I know you have your exception to every rule. But in, on average, when you tick off the boxes of black men in terms of their strengths and weaknesses, on their strength, leadership is not one of them. Now, you always hear in songs, rappers always talk about being a boss and all this other kind of crap that they try and make you believe or how about they're running things. However, nobody buys any of that mess. If you look at the areas in life which, let's be honest, are most important when it comes to the actual power positions and how life is run and how society is run and how leaders come together to actually make actual changes, structural changes, black men aren't sitting at these tables. Black men aren't there. Even in the industries that we dominate in, you're thinking of all the sporting industry, you think about the music industries, we still complain in those industries about not having control because guess what? It's other groups who are the figureheads and why we are the puppets. It's the same when it comes to this constant blame, and I see it all the time, constant blaming of single mothers and women, to be fair, for every ills that the black community face as if they themselves are responsible for their own dumb actions that they take. I mean, I still hear men in their 40s and up talking about how them being raised as a single parent in a single parent household is the reason why they act like, like a bitch. And I'm like, at what age does the responsibility lie with you in the reason why you act, the reason why you are where you are in life? It just becomes, it becomes so weak when you hear all the constant complaints about everything else except for looking inward at yourselves. And that's why I'm saying black men, we are looking completely weak out here right now. And it's constant complaining when, let's be real as well when it comes to this racism piece. Those of us who were born here and live in the West are probably some of the luckiest people on earth, just on that sheer fact. When you consider just what a lot of black led nations are like, which by the way, is another example of abject failure on behalf of black male leadership and responsibility. When we look at the state, of some of those places in regards to how much resources they have, how much they waste, the corruption, just the outright school duggery that goes on in these places. And this is black male leadership now. 
But I'm not going to get into all that today because that's going to be a long ass topic. But that's all I wanted really to add to Olo TV's video about black men who complain about race all week. Make sure you subscribe to his channel. The links are posted in the description box below. But that's all I wanted to share with you guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Until next time, I'm out.